Welcome to the How to Write a Book podcast, the show that helps you plan, write, and publish your book, even if you're a beginner or just feel like one. Now, for your host, she's written over a dozen books and helps others bring their books to life. Here she is, Maciel. Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome to NaNoWriMo Day 6. What is up? I am so happy to have you guys here. And if you're on day six, and no matter if you've missed a day or if you are totally crushing it, I want to say congratulations to you because, bro, like if you were doing it, if you were showing up, and even if you miss a day and then you get back on, that is totally okay. You know, one of the things that um, can be really helpful is to give yourself like that off one off day mentality. Now, actually, I don't know what this is called, but um, some people like to have this kind of rule and it's super fascinating and actually it is really helpful. So say you want to have a streak of, of a habit. So like going to the gym or doing some writing, right? Instead of having this pressure of like, I'm going to do it every day and then you miss a day and you're like, oh my gosh, I missed a day. I suck. Right. Um, which is not true. <laughs> but so you think that, right. Those are the thoughts that come up, but instead you could have this other rule, which is like, don't miss more than one day. So say you want to write for seven days, you write on day one, but you miss day two. Okay. Um, then go back on on day three, but you already gave yourself that like preemptive permission. I was like, okay, I missed day two. That's okay. That's okay because I know that tomorrow I will make time for it because that's how the chain is working. And it's a lot like that one theory, the um, Seinfeld theory, right? Where he's doing that break the chain. He makes like a joke every day. It's similar similar to that, but instead you can give yourself every other day off. So, you know, your goal is to have consecutive days one right after another. But if you miss a day, then tell yourself, okay, but for sure tomorrow and then stick to that. And even if it's like you have to show up really small, if you even have to, you have to like make a hundred words versus a thousand words, you showed up, right? That's the whole point. And then the next day, if you miss that, then you're like, okay, well, I wrote yesterday. So, all right, not bad. I missed today, but I will write tomorrow. And always make sure that you're just not missing more than one day. So don't make it to two days, right? But it still gives you that kind of leniency. It gives you like enough uh, slack to to not stress yourself out. Because, you know, once you miss a day, or say you miss two days, man, we are so hard on ourselves. We're like everything just goes in a spiral. You're like, okay, well now I suck. And uh, now, now I can't ever write. And that's it. I'm done. I'm done for as a writer. I can't ever do this. You know, goodbye world, <laughs> etc. So you don't, you know, right? I'm saying this and it sounds funny when you say it out loud, but this is literally the stuff that we say to each other. Isn't that crazy? And it's not, not, not even to each other. We say it to ourselves, which is even worse. Like you wouldn't tell that to your best friend, right? You wouldn't tell your best friend like, oh, you didn't write yesterday and and today, oh man, you need to stop writing. <laughs> no way. Right? Like that would be terrible. You'd be a terrible friend if you did that. So be a good friend to yourself and give yourself the leniency and tell yourself that, yeah, your story does deserve to be told. You have a great story inside of you. Okay. So today's writer's block thought is, am I doing this the right way? Oh yes. Oh, so this is really interesting because this is such a blocker. Like the moment that that comes into play, you are fooling your writer self. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. And then, I mean, this in a really uh, positive way. I hope it comes off positive. So if you're telling yourself, am I doing this the right way? Boom. We're going to stop that thought because the moment that you start doubting yourself, then excuses start to come up, blocks start, start to come up. And then you start putting the brakes on your writing because you're questioning the writing process that's already innately inside of you. So if this question comes into your mind, I want you to say, Hey, Hey, writer self, we are not going to go there because it doesn't matter if I'm doing this the right way. There's no right way to do this. You are simply putting this thought in my head so that I can stop writing. That's the critical voice telling you that you're doing it wrong and therefore it's trying to protect you from some sort of future fear that does not exist right now because all you need to do is show up. So again, if you have this question of, am I doing this the right way? That's actually a flag that says that your critical voice is trying to break through. It's trying to get into the house of your mind and trying to shut you down and instead say, whoa, I see that thought. I'm going to stop that thought. There's no right way. I'm not even going to let you enter my mind. Yeah. That's like a real one, right? Cause that's what it does. It stops us. All right. That's, that is how we approach that thought. Now, what kind of action item do I want you to do to tackle this thought? 
what I suggest you do is get out your journal or your writing notebook, wherever you're writing and put down exactly why your process works. So say you are in a really fun conversation with someone who doesn't agree with how you write, but it's a debate, like it's a fun debate. You're supposed to get like points or it's gamification. So present your argument to yourself and tell yourself why the way that you write is the best way. Tell yourself why the way that you approach writing is the best way to approach writing. And remember, this isn't to win over anyone else. This is about you. This is about you crushing down your critical voice because your critical voice is trying to get you. So instead, tell your critical voice, hey bro, this is exactly why my process is amazing. This is exactly why my process deserves this, right? Because critical voice, mm, you wrong. You are wrong. And here's all the reasons why. Okay, so I hope that helps you, dear writer, because you are a writer. If you need more information about NaNoWriMo, go to www.nanowrimo.org. If you need some additional writer's resources, I have three free writer's toolkits at www.blackheartstudios.com or themaciel.com, which sends you to that other site. Um, As well, you can email me at maciel at blackheartstudios.com. That's M-A-S-S-I-E-L at blackheartstudios.com. If you have any questions whatsoever, I'm here for you guys. I'm here to support you. Remember that your book is important. Your story deserves to be told. If you have a story on your heart, it's there for a reason. All right, y'all. I'll catch you on the other side. Bye. Hey there, writer. Thank you for listening to the How to Write a Book podcast with your host, Maciel Valenzuela. If you like the show, we'd be happy if you left a review. For more information on writing and the writer's life, go to www.themaciel.com. That's www.themaciel.com. We'll see you on the other side.